Hello, this is George Grant. Welcome to the audio newsletter at thepathofmusic.com. In each of these little 10-minute newsletters, I'd like to address a concept, a topic. And this first one, we will address what it means, the path of music, to each of us. But first, let me catch you up a little bit on the website. I'm very excited about this. Uh, The drumtalk.com website is now thepathofmusic.com. Aside from Drum Talk, there's the vocal toning programs, there's music meditation in motion, where we involve uh, movement with toning, active sound healing involves the vocal process, and deep listening and body-centered meditation skills for wellness and health. On the webpage, you'll see a nice list of YouTube links. And also on the CD store page, there's lots of neat samplers of all the different uh, music projects that have happened over the last several years. And most specifically, my new project, which is called George Grant Images. You'll notice a little orientation on the online instruction that I'm doing now, right over Skype, audiovisual software, right over the internet. It's very easy to teach drum talk, syllable rhythms to somebody in Portland, Oregon, or Boston, Massachusetts. I'm doing online voice training as well. And the path of music is an idea, a philosophy. I see this audio newsletter blog as being about 10 minutes each time, and we'll pick a discussion topic that uh, involves how we make music part of our life. Everybody likes music. Different people have different interests, different ambitions. But what would it be like if we just turned the dial up a little bit and had a conscious awareness of of how we were using music in our life and treat it like uh, great food, like health food, or treat it like medicine, or, or prayer. Just take music a little bit more seriously and share it with your friends and family and your young kids especially. Or, you know, uh, when you listen to music, listen with a little bit more uh, active awareness and just thinking about these things. That's what the path of music is. It's, it's an ongoing process. Each person has their own path of music. Mine's different from yours. Um, but it's changing. It's constantly changing. And so what is this path of music? So this is our first topic, actually, in this newsletter, would be uh, a little discussion about the path of music. And so for me, uh, I'm a professional at this, but my path of music is a lot different than the typical person who's a performer. I've made conscious decisions that I'm more interested in health and wellness and meditation and sound healing than I am being an entertainer. But yet I still work with people and help them learn rhythm mastery and and whatever kinds of training we're doing so that they can perform if that's what they want to do. If you want to perform and be on stage and have a good time, that's great. That's your path of music. If somebody else wants to do toning in their living room with a couple of friends and never, ever, ever be in front of an audience, that's the path of music for them. If you want your kids to have strong brains and be socially adjusted and and maximize their potential, well, maybe the path of music starts young in life, and we grow up with music. Somehow, if it's not my drum talk or vocal toning, it's, it's trumpet lessons. But it's like, let's take music seriously. A path is implied a a way of life. Sometimes uh, we assume that a path is a a sacred thing, but it doesn't have to be. A path could be an academic thing. It could be a professional thing. It could be a recreational thing. So the path of music, what is your path of music? Now, of course, if you are not on a path of music, I would love to encourage you to find one. Toning is very, very simple. People who have never had any music experience do this, and we have incredible uh, 
benefit from this. The drumming, group drumming, is a little bit more uh, social, a little bit more active, and um, a little bit more out in the open. Not quite so esoteric as toning, but we have many people that like to do both. We tone and we drum and we move. So in, in the path of music is not about music only. We could call it the path of creativity. Music and movement are hand in a glove. For me, there's very little difference between painting and music and poetry. They're all imagery. They're all uh, making our right brain wake up and be a part of our life. Now, of course, the path of music might be just purely deep listening skills. You don't have to play music to have a path of music. You could... We think we're listening to music, but are we really, when we're doing the dishes, are we really listening to music? When we're at a party and we're having great food and we're talking and everybody's talking all at the same time, are we really listening to music? No, not really. I would call that passive listening, and that's great. But active listening is something that very few of us do, where we listen with complete and singular focused attention on the music. Sit in a nice comfortable chair, turn the lights down, turn the phone off, listen. Pick a piece of music you want to listen to. Instead of just slapping something on, what do you want to hear? What does your body need? Do you need vitamin C? Do you need protein? What, what, do you want to hear choir music right now? Do you want to hear Led Zeppelin right now? Do you want to sit in your chair and completely focus on uh, a piece of classical music by Beethoven or Arvo Part? This is, this is active, deep listening. And then sit in that chair and feel your body resonate with it, see the imagery, become completely involved. So the path of music is um, about listening as well as playing music. It seems to me that many of us are more and more aware of health and healthy lifestyles and making conscious decisions about what we eat, how we exercise. Um, if we sit and do some sort of stress reduction activity like meditation or yoga and Music could be very much a part of this for you. What are you going to make the time to do? 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And this is the path of music, is, is deciding this. And this website that uh, is long time coming now, transforming from drum talk to include all of these other things that I'm up to, is to try to stimulate a, a musical revolution uh, a social revolution, where instead of only just turning on your CD and your, your iPod, that we get together with other people. And instead of a technical revolution, we can have a social revolution. Touching your thumbs on your smartphone is not social contact. Getting together for 10 or 15 minutes and drumming or singing and playing the guitar with your friends is social contact. And I believe we must take charge of our social lives. And our world around us is fast paced. It's go, 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 go. We were told that computers were gonna set us free and we we're gonna have more time to do more things, but that's only for the people that take it. That's for the people who turn off their smartphones and turn off their computers and say, I'm gonna play music with my five-year-old today. And we're going to do something. We're going to listen to the CD and dance. Or we're going to sing along with our favorite Beatles songs. Or we're going to do drum talk or vocal toning. And do it with people. People are more important than machines. And this is the thing that I want us to think about. So thank you for listening. Uh, please sign up for the newsletter and tell your friends just go to george at drumtalk.com, send me a little email, and I'll uh, send this out to you. You're not obliged to buy anything at all. So this can be something fun for us. Let me know if there's certain kinds of topics or things you want to talk about. We can have a lot of input from all of you uh, that are out there making music. So we'll see you next month. Thank you.